This young woman has been in the news lately, so it's only fitting that there would now be a show about her. Naomi Osaka is an athlete, icon, activist, designer, role model, and now the subject of a Netflix documentary series. This intimate three-part series takes us inside the life of one of the world's best tennis players, Naomi Osaka. With unprecedented access, we follow Osaka during a historic two years in which she works on her game but also begins to find her voice. This documentary is filmed beautifully. There is so much footage where the camera is just following Osaka in her everyday life. Whether that's practicing on the court, during competition, or even just hanging out with friends or family, or contemplating her life. There are a lot of audio interviews that tell the story from Osaka's vantage point, but rarely do we see her speaking directly to the camera. And this provides a new level of visual interest as we get to hear from her about what she's experiencing or about topics from her upbringing, all the while watching her at work, on the court, or going about her life. Very recently, Osaka has been in the news for a number of different reasons. One is because she withdrew from the French Open for mental health reasons. There, she was required as part of the tournament to fulfill a number of press conferences. She knows herself best and stated that she just needed a break from all that. But when the tournament wouldn't budge, she took control of her situation and she stepped out. In this documentary, we can see how great of a relationship she has with the press. She's open and answers pretty much off the cuff. So I really believe that the only reason she wanted to refrain from the press conferences at the French Open was to keep herself mentally fit and just provide some rest from them. We also see in this documentary how the pressures weigh on her. It's evident in her face, and there are quite a few examples as we watch of how she feels the weight of her life and her responsibilities. And while the documentary doesn't cover the events of the French Open because it is so recent, we can certainly see how everything could lead to her decision to step out and want to take care of herself. Along with the audio from Osaka, we get to hear from her coaches, trainers, sister, and mom and dad. And these interviews work to build out a great picture of how Osaka grew up, as well as just everything that she is currently doing to pursue being the best in her sport. Now, even though a ton of this focuses on tennis and Osaka's tennis career, you don't need to be a fan or even familiar with the sport. While it serves as the background action, the real story here is in learning who she is and getting to know her as a person as she also discovers herself. And this is only three episodes right now, with each of them between 30 and 40 minutes in length. It's a really quick watch, and I found it highly interesting and really engaging. Osaka is vulnerable and unassuming, which then makes her sympathetic and a subject that feels worthy of our attention. And because of a ton of recent events in her life, I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a follow-up episode or more to this documentary in the coming weeks or months. The topics of her stepping out of the French Open, having a role model Barbie created of her, and even her playing for Japan in the upcoming Olympics are going to be great to hear more of her perspective as well as what she's been learning about herself on this journey. But even without these, to see glimpses into her life as she battles wins and losses on the court, branching out into interests outside of tennis, and then using her notoriety to speak against racial inequality, all of this works to show how, just how she functions. She's not a flat character, and I like that along the way, and even though this isn't a fictional drama, we get to witness her growth. The documentary is there to capture some of the moments as she learns more about herself. Even though the interview audio from family and coaches is good to give us a more rounded picture of who Osaka is, the true meat of the documentary comes from what she has to say. We get to look into her heart and mind, hearing how vulnerable she is to outside pressures, but also to hear her self-determination and drive. Overall, this is an interesting watch, and I appreciate the access that we get. I really do hope that there will be a follow-up so we can gain even more insight into this talented young woman, and we can continue to watch her grow in her sport and her life. There's no sex, nudity, or violence, but there is some profanity. I certainly recommend checking out Naomi Osaka on Netflix. It's a quick binge, and it's enjoyable. So what other sports figure would you like to see have a documentary done on them? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.